Hey everyone, I'm Raven Maureen, and today I wanna to share with you some April sewing plans. So I'll be very honest, it took me a couple of days to get this together because one, I have been traveling quite a bit, but also I was like struggling with my ideas. And so um, I had filmed one uh, version of this video and scrapped it, didn't like it, and so now I'm filming this version of this video with some really solid plans that I'm really, really excited about. So I'm going to get started with the things that I have already completed. So this is McCall's 7862 and I've already uh, done a review on this. So if you want to check it out, I will link that below. What I'm currently working on is McCall's uh, 7969 and I'm actually wearing um, the version that I made probably two or three years ago at this point. And this one is going to be a peplum. And so I'm in the middle of this project now and I can't wait until it's finished. I am so excited for a black version of this. I wanted to use this really pretty textured um, knit fabric. It's very stretchy, resistant, and make a Lola tank, just the tank. Um, I really love the neckline on that tank top. And I just, instead of, um, having just the dress I would like to have the tank top as well that way I can wear it with like white jeans or something I think that'll be really cute for the upcoming months so this set may look familiar to you because I told myself that I was going to get to my navy blue blazer in March and that didn't happen and so I am really crossing my fingers for April um, in March I said I was going to use the Mimi G blazer Instead, I've decided to use the Heather Blazer. Um, so the Heather Blazer, I don't have to alter anything. It actually hits me at a really great place on my hip. And it's actually a very, um, just no fuss blazer, no welt pockets. And I felt like that I wanted this one to be a little bit more casual, but still something I can pull together for work. And so I am really hoping that I can get to my blazer this month. You might recognize this dress from my uh, thrift haul that I did uh, maybe like a week or so ago and um, I really want to alter this dress take it apart dissect it make it something smaller or totally different we'll just see what happens but this is the goal for this month so I have some seersucker fabric because guess what I want to make a version of this um, in seersucker and I know it seems like I'm a little obsessed with McCall 7969 Maybe I am right now, maybe I'm going through a phase, but I feel like it's just timeless and it's something that I've kind of wanted to make more of and I think this is just the right time to do it. I picked up this um, really gorgeous like blush linen and so I already have a button down and a pair of shorts that match this and so it's kind of like a faux jumpsuit that I made last spring. I was thinking that because I already have the shorts that are this color, I could use this Mimi G pattern, which is the wrap blazer, and make this with this. And I think it'll actually be really pretty and just perfection for spring. So I am thinking that I wanna use uh, this Atelier Brunette fabric and do Simplicity 9702. And I wanna make View C, which is the maxi version. Um, I have watched um, a review and a sew along for this. And, um, I'll be honest with you, I think, I'm thinking I may have to do a full bust adjustment on at least like the bust area. Um, someone did mention that the bottom takes three panels, so I may have to do some measuring and make sure that I have enough fabric for this, but provided that I do, this is definitely the plan. So with this pattern, or this fabric in particular, um, I want to do the Mabel dress. The Mabel dress is a brand new, like I think it just came out last week brand new pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. I think it is absolutely adorable. And so it's got some shearing details and like a really pretty like square neckline. I think this will be really pretty with it. So this is what I what I would like to do with this fabric. So I bought this um, rib knit from Hobby Lobby, I believe like last month or the month before. And I really want to make the maxi version. I think that's view B um, of the Mimi G polo dress. And I, I honestly have been wanting to do this, ver like a type of dress like this for a while. And honestly, I was gonna like Franken pattern some stuff together, but I'm really glad that 
this pattern came out and Mimi G pretty much gave me everything I needed in one in one pattern so I I can't wait to sew into this and I think it's gonna be super casual super pretty something that I could just throw on when I'm going to the store um, I think I can really enjoy that dress so the next three items these are items that um, I plan to make for the bachelorette trip that I'm going to in Miami and I talk about that a little bit in my let's chat sewing video and so but I'll just recap it here real quick I really want to do like a silk leopard pajamas with this I'm thinking the Ogden cami and just like a basic pair of shorts something really simple but perfect you know for this and I have about three yards of this so I think I'll be okay then I was uh, going to do the Sicily slip dress with this and this is gonna be like super mini and really cute I'm actually gonna do the the tie straps again I thought that was really nice and just added like more flair to it so I can't wait to do this <clears throat> And then I am going to do the Marley suit in this and I got some black power mesh um, to match the black because I don't want the nude to come to show like when I'm wearing it. And so I bought black power mesh so that even if it does show, you can't really tell because it's all black. So I'm really excited to sew that up as well. Okay, you guys, so that's all I have for my April sewing plans. I. I hope I can get to everything. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.